Hello everyone and welcome back to another Space Engine video and today we're going to be checking out an update that recently dropped um, involving Planet Ring so this should be quite interesting. It's been a while since we've actually been in Space Engine um, all together as well so yeah let me know guys if you're um, interested in more regular Space Engine content. Uh, but yeah, that all said and done, let's get just straight into this. So, this update includes the rings of planets, like I just mentioned. And that mainly being, obviously we can see um, the rings around Neptune here, but if I just bring up the notes. So, it's all about the volumetric rings. So, it's basically going to show lots and lots of ring particles when you zoom into the rings and stuff. So, Neptune is probably not the best example, but I thought I'd give it a shot anyway um, to start off with. So... Let's just have a little zoom in on Neptune's ring arc. See if they actually show up with any little materials once we uh, zoom in enough. So let's have a little peek. But where we really want to be going is Saturn's rings and uh, bits like that. And probably the planet with the largest rings as well. So J1407b uh, into Neptune's. Oh, here you go. Here you go. So they are in Neptune's uh, ring. So we're slowed down. Oh, yes. Look at that. Even in Neptune's faint little ring arcs. So let's just slow things down here. Uh, there you go. Look at that. We've had to slow the time down really fast because I'm guessing these guys are probably going to make it quite laggy. Just, I mean, there's quite a lot of them there. I mean, look at that. Now, how cool is that? I mean, wow. So let's just speed it up a bit. So there, there you go. Let, let them fly by a little, uh, little faster. There, there you go. So this is what the update's all about. So, I mean, look at that. I mean, that is such a cool view of Neptune through its little ring arcs. I mean, remember, these rings are so, so, so faint. I mean, we barely almost miss them when we uh, visited Neptune, I believe. But, yeah, look how cool that is. I mean, just visually, look how stunning. Look at that. I mean, how cool is that? Oh, my God, there's a big one there. Oh, let's see that. Let's get that closer to us. Hang on, what? What is it not moving? Is that one of... Ne so, what is that? Oh, it's one of the dwarf moons. Okay, right. So, we're about... Okay, so it's outside... Ah, okay. So, let's actually just... Uh... Go to it. I forgot Neptune has like loads of little rings. So this is sitting roughly inside Neptune's ring arcs. And as we can see, that's sitting pretty much comfortably in there. In that little dwarf moon. Check that out. Hey. So let's actually, what we could try oh, is have a view of the rings from this dwarf moon around the mic. Oh, yeah. There you go. So let's uh, try and get a uh, the best sort of view possible. So where, where are the rings? I mean, they're so faint. Actually, what we could do is actually turn up the rings. A bit. So is it visual style, rings, rings? I forgot where the option is to do all this stuff. Is it? Uh, let's just go out. Um, I need the rings in view first before we... Uh, do anything. So where, 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 where are we? Neptune. God, I've just gone all over the place there. Right. Okay. So we've got a good view of the planet. Now, I think if I turn up the... Is it the ambient lighting? I think that may help. Exposure, maybe. A bit. Yeah, there you go. Okay, so just turn the exposure up. I'll turn the stars down just so we don't want them to be too bright. Um, Aurora, no, 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 planet shine. So I think it's ambient lighting is what we're really after there. And also the exposure, just to make the rings brighter. So we can see a visual style, brightness. Oh, God, yeah, we don't want to do, uh, go too crazy there. So just leave that on uh, normal. Is it saturation, gamma, no. Uh, gamma, we don't want to do this. Is there anything we anything else we can do? I'm sure there was a way to make the rings themselves brighter. I can never remember the option um, to do it, though, so... We'll just have to probably work with that for the time being. So, I think that's all the options we can do. Uh, unless it was something down here? No, I, I don't think so. Okay, so let's have a little... Uh, can, can we see the rings from behind? Okay, so you can, the rings are definitely more visible now. So now what we'll do is we'll zoom in again. Yeah, then, oh, you can see them. Look at them now. So you can really see the ring arcs properly around Neptune now. So, let's uh, just go in and have a see, see them with the brightened settings. Oh, yeah. Oh. oh, that is such a gorgeous view of that deep blue... Right, so I think we're in the I think we're in the closer ring this time. So, oh my god, look at all those particles! Look at that! How cool is that? I mean, that is that is a game. There you go. That's so with the proper brightness up. Look at all of that. I mean, that is just absolutely mental. Oh my god! I'm surprised this isn't killing my PC to be honest. Because I mean, that look at it. We could just fly through them as well. Ah, oh, no way. Okay, that is awesome. And this is only Neptune. This is only the planet with, like, the faintest rings. So, or in the solar system. So, yeah. So, there's Neptune's ring system. So, what we'll do is we'll, we'll work our way to the uh, the big ones. So, next up we'll do Jupiter. Because uh, then we'll do Uranus and then we'll do Saturn at the end. And then we'll hop to uh, J1407b, which is the one with the largest rings. So, 
Okay, Jupiter. So how are we doing here? Oh, right. Oh, Jupiter does look awesome in this game. Right, so where are we Jupiter's rings? It should be here. Oh, yeah, you can see. I mean, Jupiter's rings are quite faint as well, aren't they? So I'm trying to spot them. I can't even see them. What if we, uh, rings? No? Jupiter should have a ring around it. I've had a ring around Jupiter in Space Engine before. Where are its rings? They should glow up. They should show up from behind the planet, so... Although they are there, you if you look very carefully, they are there. Let's just zoom in. They are unbelievably faint, but there they are. Look, we just we just saw them there. So if you look very, very carefully, you can see them. Oh my god, these are just almost non-existent. I mean, I think even Neptunes won't show up more than these in this game currently. Oh my god, they're going to be so hard to actually try and enter, or try and locate. I mean, look, you can't see them from this way around. That is... Wow. Is there anything we can do to make these brighter at all or no man that's going to be really difficult to actually try and visualize these rings close up um planets that obviously won't do anything stars nebula galaxies ambience planets shine wouldn't be the aurora would it so that won't do much is it no no it won't be graphics would it nah we're on high graphics as well actually so that's uh, pretty cool Graphics filter object. No, it wouldn't be that, would it? I'm sure there used to be a way to just make the rings glow brighter. But I just can't remember the way to do it. Is it maybe if I change these? Oh, there you can see the ring a bit there. Okay, so now if you look more carefully, you can see. So when we get close, they're quite hard to see. Remember, Jupiter just has one big ring. So, aha, there you go. Okay, so now you can see him properly with the sunlight. So that's that was what was hidden the whole time here, which we couldn't see. So, look at that. I mean, that's crazy. So, now we can actually go into Jupiter's rings and see what's going on with these very, very faint rings. So, aha, yeah, there's nowhere near as many as the Neptune one. So, what if I re what if I go back to the HDR? Oh, my God, look how, look how invisible. There's only a few little particles making these up. But we are inside the rings of Jupiter. So, yeah, Jupiter, honestly, very underwhelming compared to uh, what we saw at Neptune. I mean, that is barely anything here i mean if you look oh that is such a cool view of the red spot but let's say if you look yeah you can there is particles which is cool um what we'll do is we'll, we'll uh, go back to that uh manual mode okay so now we can see the rings a little easier but we just want to make sure we are actually okay so we are in the ring then yeah so we are we are in here they're very very thin very very faint but that's probably the best view you're gonna get of jupiter's rings unless we go to anywhere else maybe the the outer ring here the biggest one Maybe the oh, they're, they're pink. <laughs> That's probably because we've got some crazy settings on. But okay, so it's uh okay. So yeah, roughly the similar here. So it's nowhere near as many as Neptune. Jupiter's very very bright indeed. Uh, and then what we'll do again, for instance, we'll go back to HDR. Okay, so there there's your best view of Jupiter's rings really. I mean that's probably the most you're gonna get. But I mean, I'm not the biggest expert at space engine, but that's probably the best way I can sort of get them to show up. But yeah, there you go. So there is the rings of Jupiter. Okay. Right, so now we're going to get onto the big players. So there's Jupiter. Right, Uranus. We know Uranus has obviously got quite a uh, interesting system on its uh, on its uh, rings. So, okay, Uranus. Okay, so here we go. So Uranus, remember, Uranus's rings are quite dark as well. They are as dark as coal, but they do show up a lot more than Jupiter's rings in this game. So there we go. Let's just head straight to them. We probably won't even need the HDR mode. So let's just go straight in here for the rings of Uranus. Oh, yeah, look, that is a nice shade of blue, honestly. Uranus is a good-looking planet there. Uh, all right. So, enter in here nice and slowly. Remember, Uranus does have a lot of rings. Okay. No? Where are the rings? Where, where are the rings? Can we see them? But where are our little asteroids at? So, we are, we are, we were in them there, so... Maybe we have to turn the settings up on these to get them to show. Let's uh, find out. Let's go to the, uh... Obviously, the brightest ring is that whiter one. So, this one here... This is probably the best area to look. So, slide, slow it down. Enter the rings. Okay, nice and slowly. Okay, we're enter. We should see them shortly. Where are we? Let them load up. No, a little closer. Let's go inside the rings. No. So they don't work on Uranus. Very interesting. Oh no, no, no! I do see them. There you go. So they are there. You can see them off in the distance. There. So let's try and uh, approach them. Oh, where do we go? Right, let's zoom out again. 
Are we going to go a little higher? Maybe they only render at long distances around Uranus because you can see them. You can see the little black particles going around there, but also if we get closer, they just vanish. Okay, right, so what we'll do is let's go back to that. Oh, God, that is very bright. Okay, so let's see if we can try and spot the particles a little easier now. So there, there's all of as you can see, you can see all of Uranus's rings very easy here. So let's try another ring maybe. Oh, okay, so let's just try one of these ones. And there should be some particles in here, come on. But obviously we know Neptune has definitely been the best so far out of all these. Because Neptune's one we could spot even with like the brightness switched off. But yeah, doesn't it look like Uranus is offering much in terms of these uh, rings so much? So... I mean, you also you can see the rings, but they don't have the little particles in them like Neptune and Jupiter did. So that's rather bizarre. I don't know if I'm looking in the wrong place, but I mean, they're the rings of Uranus, right? So they should be... I mean, they are very dark, but they should still show some little particles. But you'd think that this, the whitest ring here would be the best one to uh, visualise, but apparently not. I mean, yeah, you definitely, you definitely think this ring would be where they're all at, but if we just go in here, you can't see them. I mean, we are comfortably inside these rings here so i don't know why we can't see them unfortunately which is a shame but oh well so there was our attempt at uranus right so now oh unless you can still see him you can see him there so quickly yeah and they just vanished when i zoom in but now let's move on to what we've probably all been waiting for here saturn so let's see what saturn has got for us in terms of the ring department because we know already that saturn's rings are already crazy so Let's see what happens when we enter the rings of Saturn. Oh, I mean, look how good Saturn looks already in this game. So, now, let's go into the rings of Saturn. I mean, this is probably going to be absolutely crazy. So, oh, my God. Oh, let's go in here. Oh, they're very thin, remember? Try and get that perfectly. Oh, my God, I just saw them. Oh, you can see them all down there. Wow, okay, we have to go really slow in here because they are very thin, remember? So, enter the rings of Saturn. Oh, my God. That's a lot. <laughs> that is how many particles are being loaded right now on my PC. I mean, look at the state of that. Look at all these. Let's just try and slow this down. Let's just try and... Or pause it. Let's just pause it. Look at that. That is just mental. <laughs> that is absolutely crazy. And that just goes on for around the entire planet. I mean, we could just fly through these endlessly. I mean, look at that. I mean, that is absolutely crazy. So there you go. Rings of Saturn. Wow. Let's try and go to the uh, go to the more outer, uh, outermost ring here. Actually, let's try and catch one of the moons. Because, you know, like uh, moons like Mimas and stuff, sometimes oh, they do sit quite close. There's one of the shepherd moons. So, where, 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 where are we going? Let's just uh, pause it again. So, yeah, there's one of Saturn's shepherd moons. So this is uh, Daphnis, or have you say it. So, yeah, remember, Saturn does have a lot of moons. So, there's a, oh, there's a good view of the rings from the Shepherd Moon. We can't see the particles, though, because you do need to be a lot closer for these to actually show up. Let's uh, go in again. Nice and slowly, and I'll see they'll start to load in. There you go. I mean, that is just absolutely insane how many are in here. I mean, that is just... That is absolutely mental how many moons are actually in there. Where is Mimas, actually? I want to see if we can find Mimas, because I know Mimas does sit quite close to the rings. So maybe we... Where, where, where is... Where's good old Mimas? Oh, no. Oh, that's not... No, no, I didn't want to do that. No, close. Oh. I've crashed the game, now. I've crashed the game, guys. Back with you in a sec. I forgot that button does that. All right, guys, I am back here. I completely forgot that pressing this system scale button here, the solar system chart, it can crash your game just instantly. So I've got to watch out for that one. The one I wanted to press was this one, the solar system browser. So I wanted to open up Saturn and obviously I wanted to travel to Mimas. So let's see, where, whereabouts was Mimas? Ah, oh, no, it's way out of where the rings were. Okay, never mind. So good view. Of, that is a great view of Saturn from Mimas at the moment, though. But okay, so you're back into the rings, though. I mean, let's uh, go a little further. Oh, look at, look at the sun through the rings. Actually, that could be quite cool. So, uh, yeah, let's turn that off. All right, there you go. All right, cool. Let's uh, just nice and slowly in the rings again. Okay, where are we? Oh, there you go. Oh, my God, there's so many. In the, I mean, that is just crazy. So, oh, we've got a really good view. We've got this eclipse in the sun out for us. Huh. So, there, there's a uh, view of the sun from the rings of Saturn. Obviously, Saturn itself. I mean, look at that. that. Is such a good view. That is probably going to be make. We're going to probably have a really cool thumbnail of either Saturn or Neptune in this video because I mean that is 
probably get some stunning shots. But let's just fly all the way through. Look how pixelated they get when you go really fast. Oh, my God. Wow, that is... Keep going. Oh, my God, that is just crazy. So, obviously, we're not even at the end yet. I mean, look how many more rings there are to go all the way through here. So, that is absolutely crazy and stunning. But one thing I do want to try is, if you also look at Saturn from behind, there are actually more hidden rings that you can't normally see. So, would it be possible to try and locate some of those? We'll just crash into Saturn. Let's get out of there. So, obviously, you can see that bluer, the bluer ring behind Saturn. There you go. So, if we do that, you can also see the expanded rings. Can we view those is what I want to know. But, obviously, if we get closer, we won't be able to see the rings at all anymore. But, I mean... I think that would be really difficult to spot those. I mean, we can try. We can give it a shot. So, obviously, we need to be on the level of the rings already. So, let's just get into here. Get to the very edge of the last of the main rings. So, let's slow it down. God, we have to really be precise with this. So, let's go into enter the rings. Okay, so let's see how far these actually go. Okay, so we're not inside the main ring belt anymore. Or well, it doesn't look like it. But there was, there is still little asteroids that were going past here. So you can see these rings. They are, they are out here. You can view these outer rings, but they're so faint you can barely spot them. But yeah, they were there. So cool. So there's uh, good old Saturn. Right next up, we've done all the solar system planets now. So now I want to go to J1407. So let's go there. Obviously, we know what we're going here for. There it is. So let's hop straight there. Here we go. Yet yeah, the biggest, oh, the biggest and mightiest rings. Look at that bad boy. I mean, that is just ridiculous. So, planet with the largest rings. Let's see what he has got for us in this. So, uh, how should we view the planet? I mean, this is just <laughs> absolutely crazy. So, slow down to her speed. Enter the rings. Let's see if the, these must load up something for us. I mean, come on, they must have uh, particles in this size ring system. So, let's just try and get in there. Uh, Nice and slowly, just enter in there. It looks like, oh my god, look how many rings are in there. This is just insane. Come on, enter in now, slow it down a bit more. Oh god, you have to be so, so precise. Okay. Where are we? Oh, there you go. Oh my god. Look how many this was. And this would go on for 0 0.6 astronomical units, all of these rings. So, this just goes on for forever. I mean... Wow, that is just, that is absolutely mental. I mean, we could just fly through this for an eternity with how many rings are actually in here. I mean, that goes in both directions. I mean, the, look at the star is completely blocked out by ring particles at the moment. And you can't even see, you can't actually see the planet at the moment just because of how many rings there are. So we'd have to go above the rings to actually spot it. So there it is, it's over there. But also, once we go into the rings, there is so many little asteroids in here. The planet is completely blocked by the rings. So let's just increase our speed now and see how long it actually takes to actually arrive at the centre where the planet is. So, I mean, look at this. That is, a <laughs> that is absolutely crazy. Oh, you can see the planet on the uh, top there. A little quicker. Okay, look, even, even at this speed. So, oh my god. And look, we just have to Look, let's just go out there. I mean, look how much ring distance there is. It's absolutely insane. But yeah, there you go. So that is the planet with the largest rings. So that's J1407b. Absolutely crazy mental <laughs> how many rings that has got. But yeah, there you are, guys. So that is a brief sort of overview of all of the uh, solar system planets with rings. And obviously... Um, the planet with the largest rings. So yeah, let me know your guys' thoughts and opinions on this um, down below in the comments. But yeah, this was awesome. Really, really fun checking all this stuff out. And yeah, guys, if you'd like to uh, have more Space Engine videos, just let me know if you're uh, interested in having more. But with that all said and done, let's see if we can go for 30 likes on today's video, guys. Subscribe for more. Help us on the journey to 22,000 subscribers. And yeah, I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.